All right, what's going on? I'm going to uh, pull the items that sold the past, I don't know, like three days. I haven't, like, moved anything. I haven't, like, <laughs> I haven't brought anything to the store. Uh, Thanksgiving, yada, yada, yada. All right, so I'm going to pull those orders, and then I'm going to bring them over the table and give you a little tidbit. Should have had some sold before this action, and then I'll close it with a song and some more sales all right that'll be all the sales for um wherever we left off the 14th so all right here we go all right i got this uh burns -O -Matic with a uh, round it's like a round glass this was picked out of the model t house uh, 60 bucks for everything out of that house uh here's the comp and I, uh, well, this is my sold. That's my sold. We're shipping it out right now. Um, this will be difficult to pack. And uh, this is going to a lieutenant. So, um, depending how it goes and if there's any money left and uh, a decent profit, I'm going to refund them something. Um, I don't have anything to give them in the vehicle. Um, but I like to. I like to include something for soldiers, so that's what I got. All right, on to the next. Next, we got this World War II uh, gas mask. I got this on a clean out. I cleaned out a buddy's house and uh, paid, I think, roughly 1300 for everything out of his house. We ended up selling a good amount of his stuff and got some really good money out of some of the stuff in this home. Uh, had a Peter Wright anvil that we pushed out at about 500, made a nice lot, and then went to Florida. Um, a a uh, caterpillar made by Do Doki Doki Toys uh, that that pushed out at like 380. So just those two items alone and I claimed this guy's whole house out so just those two items alone almost got my money back we were hanging out at work one day and he had this on his floor and he goes hey you didn't take this gas mask I was like you don't want it and he's like no nah, I don't want it take it I was like all right um Dave uh Dave 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 I always forget this guy's name but regardless I gotta kick him some more money because um, I did overly well just want to give him something buy him lunch do something for him he's, he's a nice guy and uh, if I make contact with him he can almost steer me on to a couple more leads on people that need to get their homes cleaned out so that's that's why I do that and you always got to kick back a little bit when you actually get a clean out contract like that so here's the comp it's not a comp it's actually a sold I don't know why I keep saying that that's from still running on some haul videos here so there's a sold good sale um that was the best offer too so next yeah, basic drum book i bought about 30 of these out of a estate sale 30 of these and a ton of other stuff um don't think i paid more than 40 dollars for everything and i believe I sold like a keyboard right off the cuff for like 40 bucks um, once I got that stuff home. So I've been sitting on these for a while. Uh, I've been pushing them out at like eight or nine dollars. I priced them really high at the beginning, 15. Basically, it's just going on the comps. So I just dropped, dropped, dropped my prices down to about ten dollars each plus eh, four dollars shipping roughly. So it's about 15 total. And uh, yeah, people are buying them. There you go. So I got to drop some more prices on those. Get rid of some more of those. I think I got like 10 left. Next. Patches. Apparently I need some stinking patches. Um, no, I don't need no stinking patches. This is lot one. It's the first lot of the patches sold. Uh, this is a space patch lot. Some are complete. Some are unfinished. Uh, this is what it sold for. And I have about... 50 to 60 more lots that I made just haven't posted them yet waiting for a couple to sell and then when they sell I post a couple more so literally 50 50 lots 
50 lots of different lots. So 20 of these space ones and there's about 20 advertising and about 10 military. So good sale. Free shipping, but good sale. All right. Final shot of a item here. We got two of these. These are Hartford Company uh, corner clamps. These are very rare, very useful corner clamps. Um, I wouldn't say like fully rare, but they're hard to find. Here's a comp. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a comp. That's sold. All right, good money on those clamps. Here's a, here's a view of what that clamp looks like. So you can find that clamp later. It's got little sharp points on the end. It's got a lever that should move. And it's marked Hartford Clamp Company. Okay. That's what I got. And that's going out right now. List, list, list. Ship, ship, ship. Do that. Do that. Do that. Shit. Patches. Lot K. Patches. Sure. Yeah. Sold. That's going to be the standard price on the patch lots as I run through for now. And I just listed another 20 lots, so. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see. Is this a DS? Yeah, DS. DS for the charger in a game. Um, yeah, I had it. I think I was selling it for 30 at the flea. That's what it sold for on eBay. Um, sometimes these do pretty good at the flea. This game's worth like 10, so that's not bad of a deal. And it's tested and it works. So, uh, this is out of uh, Dane's house, eBay reseller. All right, on to the next. Alright, the wife needs a bag of oranges and some juice, but the show must go on. Alright, so here we go. We have some Marks little mini 3 inch planers. This is 1 inch by 3 inch. A little mini jack plane. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Marks Toys. Marks Toys made this. This is actually functional planer here. I mean, I wouldn't really use it, but. There you go, Marks, M-A-R-X, and it's got, I can't tell if that's fake light or not, it could be, but pretty cool, this is sold, and uh, I noticed I'm out of pack of material, and I need some tape, my tape gun's empty, I got no tape, no tape, no nothing, running on empty. Black Friday, running on empty, sales are jamming in, and got no supplies. So I gotta go on a supplies run. So there you go. Enjoy that item. Pretty cool. diving right now. I know there's never anything in these boxes. Boxes. We don't need no stinking boxes. Lame. Lame. Like this sale. This is. I gotta give it to this guy. Whoever bought these, I chatted him up a little bit too. But uh, 
these are cool these are vintage these are from the model t house um and th these didn't take long to sell at all uh, two weeks and these um are vintage 60s camping trips uh, all, all of them except for one has something inside of it with foam on it and some kind of movie so he's pretty stoked to fire up his reel to reel to watch these sorry that's kind of loud <laughs> uh, sold untested um, basically I'm selling them as is uh, no, no risk no reward you know all right, on to the next. Next, we got this Nikon. It's a it's a zoom focus, eighty to two hundred. Sold. Where did I get this? I got this. Uh, I, I got all all the camera stuff came from. The uh, I call it the time travel house. So the time travel house, which was the Hopkinton sale, um, with all the stones. And uh, yeah, we missed out on the stones. Yeah, and uh, we ended up getting the cameras. Dummy. Um, yeah, you live and learn. You live and learn. On to the next. All right, here we go. This is a shack jersey that we got out of the storage unit in Worcester. This one's new with tags, and there's uh, two more to go. I should probably clip that little run right there. And uh, it's in great condition. There's, I think there's like one spec stain on this one. And that's uh, pretty much it. It's I, it took it probably took nine months to sell this one. Uh, this is the sold. Okay. And uh, we got. Uh, I'm looking to list this. A Kobe. It's not new with tags, but it's nice it's white it's a white one so i don't think that, those are common all right on to the next sale here we go so we got this camera the camera lens another camera lens it's a let's leets it's like a german um it's in pretty poor condition and I, i've been selling all this stuff in uh parts and anything that i ever sell the one thing that always gets returned or wants a refund or money back or anything like that is a camera or a lens eh, it, it, and now trains so anything complicated i guess you could say um it's particular you know um and i know that i mean look at the lens it's got some imperfections so i don't know whether or not that's good you know what's what's the What's the variable for that to be good? Um, obviously, there's another lens over here you'd have to worry about too. Um, it's mobility works fine, but you know the, whether or not the lens is of quality is always a gray area when you're selling a camera. A lot of people don't put that into consideration. Start selling some cameras. Uh, I don't know. Go buy 50 cameras and try crunching them up one at a time and uh, see what happens. Alright, on to the next. Alright. Hopefully I can show you some more items along the way through the week. And most of those, basically the videos didn't, uh, didn't record when I did it. And uh, I don't know, my phone makes the videos become stale within like a couple of days and forces them into the iCloud. It's a big pain in the hoo riggy and so whatever. If you don't get all the sales and you didn't get all the sales, I don't know what to say. So this is a set of legs. Um, I bought a bunch of these out of the uh, auction. Uh, I paid 70 I think, 
that's that's what I bit that's what they bit out at. These don't even match. Um, I had three pairs that did match, and then th this pair didn't match. This one's a little bigger than that one, so it's going to be kind of complicated to ship these. I didn't really look into where they're going, but whatever, we'll make money on them. It's not a big deal. And I have one more set left, so this is the sold. And that's kind of what they've been running at. And that's a little bit of a low. Uh, most of the time these are broken. And uh, this one's got a little crack in the hinge down here. Well, like, I don't know what in there. A little, a little crack right there. And that's not, that's about it. But it does affect, like, the value, I guess you could say. Um, but I just priced them all the same when I got them in a the lot. Threw them all on the ground, listed them all at the same time, listed them all. And I did have to measure them all. Uh, you know, here to here, here to here. And I measured these top base parts. Took pictures through a tape measure on it while I was taking the pictures. Yada yada yada. And uh, yeah, crafting pots, you know. People people love this stuff. So on to some more other sales. Alright, these will be the rest of the sales for the week, closing out the weekend of Thanksgiving week. Alright, so we got this ICB2118. It's so, uh, like a 40 channel transmitter, transceiver. It's uh, made by ICOM. It's a Japanese company. And this, some of these can do pretty good. Uh, what happened? Did I sell some parts? I don't think I sold this in parts. This is sold tested working. Alright, so there's the sold. Uh, overall good sale, um, we'll just see how it goes by the time uh, the transaction's over. I included some batteries, that's what I included, and uh, I'm going to figure out a way to get them in there, just strap, strap these in the back of the box, and uh, yeah, a uh, thousand questions asked about this, so... Nice to get it out the door. Alright, on to the next. Next we got this train set. I threw an auction. Uh, $16 I paid for this one train. And, uh, yeah. I don't think I tested this. I started the auctions and I said that I didn't test any of the trains. Then as I'm going through the auction, people are asking me to test them. So, I mean, I'm like, what the hell? Uh, I didn't want to put in any work. <laughs> so this is what it's all for. And uh, if I knew that was going to happen, I would have just test it and sat on it, I guess. Um, I guess I was just trying to avoid the testing. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Alright, so here's another train lot. Um, I kind of just made this lot, making some random cars in there. This is the one engine that was in there. So, uh, yeah, gotta go to Smoke and Deal. Uh, this engine works, but he bought it untested. So, that's logistics. This is sold. Uh, I wish I did better on these. Um, I wish they panned out a little more. I might have listed them a little prematurely, but it is what it is. So I don't know if I would buy. I would buy them at the price I bought them for. That that's for sure. Um, but carry on. This will be the last sale of the trains. Um, I put a bunch in auction. Uh, a couple didn't end. Uh, where we go? Sorry for the. Uh, that's about what it didn't end. Well, it didn't sell, I guess. Uh, I put a couple stiff prices on a couple of those to start. These have been starting these at 40. And they've only been hitting like 60, 70. Um, 
this one, I think I tested this and it works. So, yeah, you got a good deal again, whoever bought this one. Um, this just a, like a parts lot in here. It's just all parts. So, all parts. For the working drain. You got a good deal. This is kind of like some of the parts. Just like a box of wheels. And just like people and fences and different little gauged items. Alright, on to the next. Alright, for the sake of uh, not damaging this, um, these are very easily damaged. It's a War Bond poster. Um, I, I paid I paid 150 for two of these posters, so I paid 75 for this. Um, I bought it in a lot, so mm, I might have paid a little less. I don't really know. I don't really know. That was that that um, bulk buy. Uh, that was the weirdest pick ever. Um, I did bring my GoPro in there for that one, and I do have some footage of that running around the house, but I don't think I'll ever post it. But this is one of the posters that I bought there. Um, very nice poster. That's the poster. And I have another one that's just as, I, I think, better. Um, so, uh, yeah, we got the penalty for private use to avoid payment of postage. Yeah, that's what it sold for. <laughs> Not bad. Um, yeah, nice sale. On the next. Alright, here's game lock. It's the next one. Um, I tried selling these as a lot at first for $79.99. Uh, no bites on that. I did have two actual lots that were pretty much the same. I think one game was different. But I, I listed them both at the same time. No, no bites, no nothing. Took it off uh, two days ago. Took it offline. Threw this in the bundle and added about 70 or so. I'm not sure, but that's what it sold for. Alright, and uh, I didn't pay much for this. I think this was like 5 or 10 bucks. So, this was out of the eBay reseller, Dane. This is out of his house. Uh, I did a haul video. There was over like, I don't know, 100. DS games for one twenty-five, so I think these were probably about a dollar to two dollars each. So that was a good sale, and uh, yeah, that stuff should just keep going. So, all right, on to the next. Okay, this is the next sale. Uh, this sold literally a couple hours later. Um, I'm sorry about that angle there. Uh, this is another game lot I made I listed this one and that other one I just showed you at the same time and took that other one down just to list it with the console because uh, and I had to just try something just to see if see just to see if it would move um, this one moved a couple hours later so I think this one had watchers on it it was a nice lot um, yeah good money was this sold? Alright, this is again, this is a re eBay reseller. This came out of Dane's house. Alright, on the next. Alright, quick one. We got this basic Medal of Honor for PlayStation. Um, did not test it as the disc was mint condition, so I'll run the risk on that one, but this is sold. Not much, so not really much of a risk at all. Um, though you can, you can a $5 sale can, can screw you. Never know. Um, 
your worst case scenario is you're just giving this away. So, all right, on the next. Another cheap, cheap one. Um, I had this priced at like $15 at one point um, and just kept dropping it. I like the box art. And it's an anime. It looks pretty cool. It sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, Creator Gundam. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Stack it cheap. Sales a sale, right? On the next. All right. In case of my, uh, I think I did a two-minute rant about these mugs. So, yeah, some Disney mugs sold. I had them listed for a while, and. Uh, Got him out of a clean out. Pretty much, guy was cleaning out a house, had me come down and evaluate it, and said I could buy whatever I wanted. First dibs. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, great clean out. Wish you could get one like that every time. On to the next. Patches. Yeah, I need them patches. Alright, so one, one more sale on the patches, and we'll have our money back. And our fees for the money spent on the sales. So, again, 50 more lots to go. Um, this is marked lot three on the sale. I have it marked lot two. I don't even want to tell you what happened with this. Probably five minutes to find this. I had to literally match the patches. Well, it's a good thing I. This is the thing too. I, I listed these lots at three different s sections. So I went lot two on the first round. I went lot A and B, C, D on the second round, and then on the the third round I did A with a number. So, I could kind of figure it out a little bit. I don't know if that'll help you doing lots like that in different times. You have to really keep track of which ones you're on. Because when, when, you're, when you're power listing them like this, it did like 20 in an hour, not even. And when you're doing it like that, you get confused whether or not you're on lot 2 or 3. Like, you've already, like, clicked the button. You get telling you try it try it really fast and by the time I'm loading the pictures I'll go so fast by the time I'm loading the pictures the pictures are loading I'll clean up this lot I'll put it in a bag and I'll spread the next lot out and then the, the pictures will be done loading and I'll be ready to take the pictures of the next lot that's the best way to that's the best way to list them boom 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 but you can get really confused. Alright, we got this HD TV converter. Uh, I listed it wicked cheap. And it's sold in uh, two days. I have a lot of lookers at this. A lot of people check this out, but it's uh it's new. It's never been used. It's clean. So that's that's why it that's why it's sold. Cheap cheap. Um uh, yeah. Good to sell some stuff like that real quick, quick, you know, make 10 bucks. On the next. We got this, uh, I think it's a wet cell. A wet cell battery. It's a marine, uh, navy battery by Willard. Hmm. It's just a battery. Okay, untested. Let's get some lead in there. It's old. A couple days. Not long. They sell. Sometimes buy your batteries. Huh? I don't know what to say. I like to sell batteries. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if there's one more. Might be one more. 
Let's see. All right, I promised you a song in advance. I'm gonna give you a song in advance. <sighs> some scrap piles or something. That's how you dance.